Who's uh, dating June? Me. Okay, good. That's what I thought. I don't want to screw that up. Yep. But I'm sorry, dude. I've seen you in Amplexus. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't with this. It, it, this so feels this like I'm cheating on June. Cheating? Yeah. It might. I don't know. I'm not mounting it. And he's certainly <laughs> not mounting true. me. <laughs> That's true. I can't, so I what? can't believe you just asked him that. <laughs> behind me is a pair in Amplexus right now. There it is. Now they're like two deer in a headlight. I did. She's going to head towards the pool. Towards the pool. We have to finish. Amplexus. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> what, um, what have you got there, dude? This is an American bullfrog, a pretty decent sized one, uh, for this area at least. And he was just sitting in the pond here, and I scooped him up just to take a look. This is a really impressive specimen, at least as far as the ones we get in this area. Nice. Can you hold it so I can get a profile shot? Sure. And so. actually, one of the things I love about this species is where they get their name. Yep. And you'll hear it in you'll hear it in the background of this entire video. In fact, if I quiet down, that was a green frog. Yep. Wait. Of course, they don't do it now. All right. Story. That's how it goes. They know. Green frog again. Yep. Still green. There it goes. Hard to detect. We'll get some audio of that. But that call, that bull cow sounding call, is where they get the name of the bullfrog. And it is just an iconic sound for Pennsylvania, especially at night, yeah, especially yeah. during the summer. Yeah. So that is something that whenever we have guests from out of town, it's one of my favorite things to show off that the bullfrog is our quintessential sound of summer. Okay, turn it this way. Uh, okay, that's good, that's good. Great. I just want to point out the ridge. Oh, sure. So, um, okay, so bullfrogs, right? Oops, I'm looking at the screen and not real life. So if you look at this ridge, it goes around the tympanum, right? And that's how you know it's a bullfrog, actually. Um, because if it's not pointed at me, it might not hear what I'm Are saying. Are you talking the dorsolateral ridge? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so being a bullfrog, right, the, the two of the most common frogs you have around here have, I mean, this is the bullfrog, right, and that name's pretty cool, but the other species is the green frog, which is not the most creative name, um, but that's the official name, and uh, the easy way to tell the difference if you're not hearing their call, because the green frog is like, no, no, and then the bullfrog is like the type of thing, just go with it. And, uh, but if you look, you've got this ridge that goes around the tympanum, okay? That's characteristic of the bullfrog, okay? On the green frog, that ridge goes down farther. It doesn't wrap around the tympanum. And that's how you know you've got a bullfrog versus a green frog, if you're wondering. But look at the size. Here, let's bring this around. Sure. If you tap the screen on the part that you want to see, it'll focus on it. Chris, uh... Yeah. Do you want to get a green frog also in hand to show the oh, difference? Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. That would be cool. So, yeah, let's look for a green frog real quick so we can show the difference. Like, I'm on a moment. Uh, there, there's one over in this pond, I think. Hey, I do you might one. Wait, you might have to back up a little bit, dude, because it might not focus that close. Oh, it, it looks pretty good for the dark. Okay. Is that a green frog look at the size of that. I'm going to add some water to your hand. Cool? Yeah. Oh, sure. I was going to. Oh, I okay. Can, I yeah, can yeah. Dip yeah. Um, and hats off to all you guys for putting a lot of effort to get in the green. That's how it goes, you know. You could be looking for, like, if we wanted to film a white-tailed deer today, it would be the one day where white-tailed deer are just scarce, you know. You could go to Valley Forge and not see a white-tailed deer just because you need to find one for the video. Name of the game. Uh, yeah, that's the karma of being a wildlife YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. And for those of you who don't have uh, a nature-based YouTube channel, it's one of the hardest niches to get into, and it's a hardcore job. It's not like some of the other channels out there, but you know, everyone puts a lot of work into it, no matter what your channel is. Good job. Okay, this is a slightly bigger one, if you want that oh, one for the good. comparison. That's very Here, good. Here, hold, hold that one. All right. That's going to be easier to, to compare to the size. Yeah. So, in my left hand, there's the northern green frog. Not as big as they'll get. They'll, they will get bigger than this individual here, but you can see it's absolutely dwarfed by the American bullfrog. 
And again, this is not even as big as the bullfrogs will get. So you can just see once they once a frog starts reaching this level of size, there's no mistaking the American bullfrog. Right. But that the easiest way, in my opinion, you can see the coloration on these two is very similar. Maybe the bullfrog's a bit darker. The green frog has some more speckling along the side of the body. But if you look for that line that we call it the dorsolateral ridge. It's the, the technical scientific term that in green frogs, like Chris said, will run from the eye all the way down the body up to where it meets the legs. And then the bullfrog, like we just pointed out, kind of forms that circular shape around the tympanum, the ear, well, the ear-like structure anyway. You know, are these guys an issue in Ecuador? Um, I do not know. We just lost our Ecuadorian native. Right. I don't think... American bullfrogs range there. I don't think they've been introduced. Good. Certainly they don't range there naturally. Right, right. Oh, got a lace one. Oh, cool. Um, okay, okay. Shall we dip these? Yeah. They didn't...